In today's tutorial, we're gonna see how to add the style of Mr. Beast subtitles into your videos. We're gonna see a very simple way of how to add these subtitles in Adobe Premiere, and all you have to do is watch the video till the end to learn the steps. So let's get started. So the first thing we gotta do is download the font style that Mr. Beast uses. Head over to this website, link in the description, and download the font that is called Obelix Pro. Open up the zip file. And click on install. Right, now, head over to Premiere Pro. Import whatever voice recording you have. And drag it onto the timeline. Now, we need to transcribe this uh, audio clip. And luckily for us, with the newer versions, you can automatically transcribe audio inside of Premiere. Click on this and change the interface layout to captions and graphics. Right here, go to text, click on create captions from transcript. Here, change the maximum length and characters to 15. Minimum duration in seconds to 1.5 and the gap between captions to zero. We want our captions to be quick and not have many words in a single sentence, if that makes sense. Check single for the lines. We don't want to have double lines. Transcriptions preferences, you can change the language to whatever language you are working with. You don't need to mess with the rest of the section, so let's click transcribe and create captions. One eternity later. Alright, our subtitles have been generated as you can see. Obviously, they look ugly, but we can change that. With your mouse, select all of these uh, subtitles and head over to the essential graphics. Change the text font to the one we just installed, which is Obelix Pro. Choose the bottom center of your screen to be the zone that contains your subtitles. And you can align them a little bit to the top or the bottom with the icon that says uh, set vertical position. Add a black stroke to your text to make it more visible. You can add a background and a shadow to it as well, but we don't need to mess with these settings a lot as we have a lot more things to cook, so be ready. Now, let's add the iconic motion or the animation that makes Mr. Beast's subtitles stand out in the video. Keep selecting all of the text that you have, and then go to Graphics and Titles. Click on Upgrade Captions to Graphic. With this method, we can add the motion that we talked about. We don't need this interface anymore, so head back to the editing interface that we had. Select the first graphic and go to the effects and controls. Here, change the scale to 80 and toggle the stopwatch. And we're gonna go forward 5 or 7 frames and then hit the stopwatch again. Change the scale back to 100. Select the keyframes that you have and right click on your mouse and then choose the option Ease In. We want this animation to be smooth, so expand the scale settings like this and move this to the left to make the graph look like this. Great, now let's add some more effects to this. Go to effects, search for the option Gaussian blur and drag it onto your graphic. Head back to effects and controls and change the blurriness value to something in between uh, 50 to 100. Keyframe the start position and go forward 3 frames. And then hit the keyframe button again and change the blurriness back to 0. Let's take a look. Finally, we want to add the same effect to all of our subtitle graphics. So to easily do this, in the effects and controls menu, hold control or command with your keyboard. Press on where we set the zoom effect. And then scroll down and press on the Gaussian blur effect. We want both of these effects selected and we want to put them both in one single preset. 
Right click and choose save preset. Name the preset something like uh, Mr. B subtitles and choose anchor to endpoint. Lastly, select all of your uh, subtitles all together. Go to effects and click on presets. You will find the preset we just created. So simply drag it onto your subtitles like this. And now let's watch this back. Please like and subscribe right now. And there you go. That's how you add the style of Mr. Beast subtitles into your videos. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to learn more stuff and become a pro editor, feel free to watch the next tutorial.